What's going on everybody, Jason here. And today I'll be going over this 2022 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat Widebody. If you enjoy reviews like these, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. That being said, let's jump right into this 2022 Challenger SRT Hellcat Widebody and see what it's all about. Now starting with the different trims that you can get with the Dodge Challenger lineup include the SXT, GT, RT, Scat Pack 392 or you can get that in a Widebody as well. SRT Hellcat or the Widebody version which you're looking at right now. Hellcat Hellcat Red Eye or the Wide Body, and then there's the Top Dogs, which is the Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body Jailbreak and the SRT Super Stock. Each of these trims have their own unique standard features and optional equipment that you can get. Safety wise, with the Hellcats, you do get the Park Sense Rear Park Assist system. However, this particular Wide Body has the other available options like the Driver Convenience Group, which also gives you the blind spot monitoring with rear cross path detection. On the exterior of this Hellcat, it has the very nice smoke show color which stands out a lot as you can see and with the distinctive challenger front end there's not a whole lot going on up front other than lots of openings for that maximum airflow that you need on this bad boy now this is a powerful muscle car so don't expect anything like fog lights or anything fancy on this also at the bottom you do have this massive front lip and with the driver convenience group you will get these nice looking high intensity discharge headlamps plus if you look very closely on the driver side headlamp it has an opening for even more air flow plus a Hellcat logo inside and you can't forget about the grill area which also has a SRT logo. Up top you've got a massive hood with two vents that are functional to add even more maximum airflow that this needs. Looking at the Hellcat from the side you do get body colored side mirrors that do come with the driver convenience group along with more Hellcat badging on the sides. Also you can't ignore the wide fender flares which also gives you the wide body competition suspension and these gorgeous 20 inch carbon black aluminum wheels that fit perfectly with the Hellcats and of course you do need these massive brakes to make sure this thing stops. And I think if you're gonna spend the money to get a Hellcat why not spend a little bit more and get the wide body package because it stands out so much on the road and it just has that aggressive look around the back again nothing crazy but you've got the rear sensors built in and the iconic led tail lamps that are massive as well along with the dodge lettering in the center plus you've got this huge black spoiler with the srt badging opening up the trunk you have enough space to put a couple of bodies i'm just kidding but there is a ton of room in here and this beauty does sound very nice just take a listen for yourself Moving to the inside of the Hellcat, there is Laguna leather throughout the whole interior. This is because this Hellcat has the Laguna leather package. The door trim is pretty basic, don't get me wrong, with just some storage, window controls, side mirror controls, and a driver memory seat control. This particular Hellcat does have the upgraded 18 speaker Harman Kardon sound system, which sounds amazing because you get the subs in the trunk as well. As for the seats, the Laguna leather is carried onto them, and you also get another Hellcat logo in the seats. Since this vehicle has the plus group package, this will give you the front vented seats and of course you already have the heated seats so you get the best of both worlds. And you'll also get a standard power driver seat. Now in the back, it's nothing too fancy at all as most people won't even fit back here to be honest. But if they do fit back here, they definitely won't be as comfortable. However, if you have like gym bags or anything that you want to toss in the back, don't worry, there's a ton of room for all of that. And in the drop down armrest, there will be the cup holders for the rear. Now under Underneath are these nice bright pedals, your parking brake, and the hood latch release. Above that are the lighting controls, dimmers, and trunk release button. And as a part of the plus group, you get a power tilt telescoping steering wheel. As you make your way into the Hellcat, the dash is covered with this soft and hard material. When you go ahead and start up the Hellcat, you will have this evil Hellcat logo displayed. As for the gauge cluster, it has this nice red that pops out, but the layout overall is typical whether you get a Hellcat or not. And in the center, you do have some options options to move around that can be displayed in front of you just like any vehicle nowadays. The steering wheel is wrapped in leather plus the SRT logo is illuminated in red at night. On the left side 
you will have the gauge cluster and Bluetooth controls. The other side has the cruise control buttons. Plus you can't forget about the paddle shifters in case you want to go a little crazy in this. Behind are the indicator, high beam and wiper controls. On the center armrest, it's not too spacious, but then again, why would it be? If you open it up, there is decent storage space to put small little items. Plus you have USB ports and a 12 volt outlet. In front of that are the cup holders and then you have your gear shifter wrapped in leather, which all of this is surrounded by this nice carbon fiber type of a material. If you keep going, there will be your heating and cooling controls along with the SRT, launch, parking sensor and traction control buttons. Then you've got this 8.4 inch touchscreen which standard does not come with the built-in navigation. This Hellcat did get the upgraded version which gives you the built-in navigation. Now this screen and this software has been going on for ages and I do wish that Dodge finally gave the challengers and the chargers the new Uconnect 5 software but then again who really cares about all that when you have 717 horsepower. On the media tab will be the usual AM, FM and Sirius XM channels. On the climate tab there are the heating and cooling controls or you can use the ones down below. If you click on the controls tab this will give you access to your heated and vented seats and your heated steering wheel plus the mirror dimmer and settings. Under your apps is where you'll find everything and fine tune other settings as well about the vehicle. Then there is the built-in navigation like I mentioned so you can either get the option to get this or you can just use it off your phone nowadays. Under your phone is where you pair your phone of course nothing too crazy about that. The settings tab will be the same one that you saw under the controls. Now once you click into the SRT dashboard there's a ton of things that you can do with this. So for example you've got your drive modes, performance pages, race options, your pre-stages, launch control, post rage. So when I mean a lot there's a lot. You can even adjust your shift life if you need it at a different spot and of course you can activate line lock to do those massive massive burnouts plus even when you use launch control you can set the rpm of where you want this bad boy to launch from and after you're done with the long days on the track there's a thing called the race cooldown which will prevent your hellcat from overheating and you can put this in different modes whether it be track mode sport mode custom or auto and depending on what you put it in your transmission paddle shifter traction suspension steering will change accordingly and on the performance pages you have a bunch of different tabs to go through on your home page this is where you can kind of move things around add widgets and whatnot there's other things like timers gauges g-force engine and dyno because in terms of driving fast and stomping on the throttle which is what this is meant for you can take a look at the different aspects of the vehicle up top is your dimmable rear view mirror followed by the interior lights and some small storage now coming around to the passenger side in the storage compartment will be some decent space for your things and up by the passenger vent is where you'll find another SRT logo. As for the key, it's a usual red key with these Hellcats and on the back will be another SRT logo to remind you of what you drive. As for what powers this beast, it's a 6.2 liter SRT Hemi V8 supercharged engine which is going to give you like I mentioned 717 horsepower and 656 pound foot of torque. Here's the window sticker for this particular 2022 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat widebody. You got the standard equipment that this already comes with followed by the optional packages added to it and as you can see it has a lot of them. Below is the pricing which is in Canadian dollars. Now some places may sell this over MSRP because of the crazy market that we're in right now. Well that does it for this 2022 Challenger SRT Hellcat widebody. Let me know what you think of this. Do you love it or do you hate it? 